Hey guys, it's Matt again. <laughs> okay, this is actually a part two video. The first video was me unboxing the Atom X16 minigun that I got from Zula. Um, did a, a minor review on that. Kind of went over a few things, um, explained a few things. Gave you some insight into the gun. Again, here is the gun. Um, when it came, it was not all set up. I've since put it together uh, the way I wanted it. Um, it did come with the regulator. Okay. Um, it did not come with the with the filter. Uh, it did come with uh, the air truck though. So to touch base a little bit more, let's go right to the body. The body of this gun is phenomenal. Very comfortable, very ergonomic in your hand. Okay? So you can understand what I mean when I say comfortable in your hand. I mean, okay, look at me. Pleasantly plump. Okay, I'm a porker. Okay? Trying to get this so I get everything in the video. Okay. There we go. I just got to scoot out some. Okay. Two fingers. Fat guy, remember. Fat guy. Two full fingers with room to spare. I'm not getting two fingers on that one. It's not happening. I mean, I can get them, but I can't do nothing with it. Okay, I, it, it's just not going to happen. Look at the size of the air horns. Look at the difference in the air horns. Look how big the air horns are on their minigun. Okay, in comparison, this is just a cheap Harbor Freight minigun. Central Pneumatic, okay. I'm not trying to, you know, compare, you know, dollar store to, to, you know, Macy's. I'm comparing a minigun to a minigun. You get what you pay for. I get that. Okay. Let's take this gun. Okay. Let's look at the triggers. Almost the same size almost identical in size okay both feel good right this is the mini 16 the x16 mini now you ready to get your mind blown this is a devilbus gti millennium this is a 550 dollar gun Handles are very similar in size. Okay. I would show you the air horns. I didn't, the uh, piece is off right now. But the only thing we're looking at different is going to be your air horns and your fluid tip, nozzle tip combo, and your capacity. Guns are fairly close to the same size. They've got similar adjustments. This one's got the extra air adjustment. Okay. What I'm trying to tell you is, for the money, you're not going to go wrong with this. Now, I'm dying to do a spray test with it. I'm dying to. I haven't used it yet. As you can see, it's still clean, still dry. Okay. Okay. And now that I'm taking this apart, this brings me to another thing. Look at this. Stainless steel nut. See that? I don't care how you slice it and dice it. Plastic threads. You get what you pay for. Okay? But with this... 
you get so much for so little. How is this possible? I don't know. But I'm telling you, they spared no expense. Your 1.0, I don't know if it'll focus on that. 1.0, it even says it on there, okay? Stainless, everything is stainless, it looks like. I've been through it. It's, I just, as, I mean, even the plunger, even the plunger is stainless. Everything. Lock rings. Stainless. Lock rings. They've spared no expense. And if this is what I've got to look forward to from Adam, I promise you, I have an arsenal. Not because I'm, you know, Daddy Warbucks or anything, but because I believe if you're going to use tools, you want to use the best ones that you can get. Okay? However, I won't overspend needlessly, but I have an arsenal of guns because I'm learning. Because I want to try it with one and say, well, let me see if trying it with a different one does something different. So I've tried. I've tried with different guns. I like different guns. I have found that this cheap uh, Campbell Hallsfield gun, cheap gun, works great for doing primers and, and you know, things like that. First thing I did though, take off the plastic cup. I like my stainless. I like my, or my aluminum cups. I like them. Aluminum cups to me are just way better. Okay. Here's the air horns for that GT Millennium. Okay. Not that much difference. Okay. You're going to get more, more fluid flow. Quite a bit more, you know, performance out of it being a, a bigger gun. Bottom line though. My arsenal, yeah, it'll be loaded. It'll be loaded down with some Adam real soon. Especially if that Mini performs like I think it's going to perform. Bank on it. That's just my opinion. I have yet to find Tony to steer me wrong in anything that he's taught me or anything that he's conveyed. So... Believe me, taking his word is not hard for me. Hope this helped everybody. I hope both videos give you a little bit of insight. I hope you enjoyed them. Tony, this one's for you. Why? Well, because I'm a goofball and that's what I do. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for everything that you've shared. To all my other fellow newbies in the painting world, hey, Jump in, get your feet wet, and have fun. I have. Right now I'm conducting an experiment. Yeah, this is my scooter. She runs, I'm just messing with a few things. Changing the radio, changing speakers. Doing a few little things. You can see it's out. <laughs> but uh, one thing I'm check, uh, testing right now, if you can see it, dull, shiny, all shiny. I want to see if I wait a month or two if that uh, House of Color Show Clear buffs out as easy as he says it's gonna. I believe it will. I love that stuff. <laughs> I love that stuff. I've messed with a lot of House of Color stuff. Candies. Different things. You can see the reducer. Uh, primer. Partner for the primer. Catalyst over here from the clear coat. Teal candy. The trans nebulae. So, oh yeah. Nevertheless, enjoy. Have fun. Live it up. Take care, everybody.